Established in 2016, the coalition has been coordinating a national human rights defenders referral network comprising eight grassroots sub-regional networks with 35 member organizations each alongside regional and thematical focal persons providing protection services and coordinating responses to human rights defenders at risk. The aim is to strengthen the Human Rights Defenders Referral Network system as a collective response to threats against them by reviewing and digitalizing its case management and referral network system. By harnessing technology, we can enhance our communication and collaboration capabilities and streamline the process of capturing and reporting while also protecting data as do not harm principle and confidentiality must be applied. Hassan Sich, the executive director of Human Rights Defenders Coalition in Uganda, commended the organization for embracing technology but cautioned against potential system manipulation. As you all know, technology has emerged as an indispensable tool for human rights defenders and civil society, offering my right opportunities to advance our cause. The referral network and the case management system empowers us to analyze cases more effectively. In light of increasing challenges faced by human rights defenders, the online system addresses the critical need for a robust, accessible, and efficient support infrastructure. Ruri muadomoku wa andi kanyo, ngoko se mpapula nyingi. Are no usi kuko se mpapula. No bisi ni keno, kwa mba wabawo ino mruwa nziwe dembele wa ngali rakai. Oba wali kotido, oba wali karamoja. Okulante chuwandi koche chifu tusene kampala. Chibade chizibu nyo, nga inokufunu waboda, waboda chitu wale kubasi. Nga chitegeza. Nenebe biwandi kubi nzo kubula. Nga bageza kubisa. Na yonu tuwate mungu zisa chini chibaita a digitalized system. Nga chika mtu. Oinzo genda kusimu yo. Oba kukomputer. Omusango gunogu tekamu. Dorothy Esther. Working as the Protection Emergency Officer at the National Coalition for Human Rights Defenders, emphasized the timeliness and potential impact of the system in addressing human rights violations. It must come at, 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 at a critical time that we are now going to the 2026 general elections. What is it going to help us? We know that human rights defenders working in issues of governance are usually beaten, challenged, including journalists. So these record violations, and when we are presenting reports to parliament, they come from such systems that show actually this number of people were beaten, this number of electoral or election violence. This launch marks a significant step towards enhancing support and protection mechanisms for human rights defenders across the nation. Komagum Rogers and Justin Nakami for UBC.